guess what movie I just saw? Yes, Dragon Ball Resurrection F. I'm doing a quick video review of it. So I'm hype on adrenaline, and oh my god, it's exciting. First of all, oh my gosh, there were so many explosions, and the visual art was amazing, and <laughs> Frieza was golden, and oh my gosh, it was so awesome. Okay, I'm going to make this as spoiler-free as possible. Um, first off, we start a dancing land of teddy bears with Mega Frieza in a cocoon. <laughs> That scene is awesome, mainly because you want to question what you're watching, but you don't at the same time. And in the beginning, when General Sorbet, one of the few people actually leading the, didn't know the band was actually called the Frieza Force, but leading that, um, actually was there, Lenny Pator or Nick Landis, and Curtis Arnott, or Takahata 101 from Team Four Star, actually provide additional voices. So yeah, the plan was to go to Earth, get the Dragon Balls, and resurrect Frieza. And it works. I'm going to keep this spoiler for like I said as possible. All the voice actors were on par. And I'm not just saying that because I'm not Christopher Sabat. Like his, his Vegeta and Piccolo actually had some of the best lines in the movie in my opinion. And Beerus and Whis returned from Battle of Gods and they introduced a couple new characters too. They introduced Jaco, the Space Patroller, which I see where Dragon Ball Xenoverse got their idea. And then, like, some of the Frieza Force members, they were introduced in this movie as well. What I understand is, like, all the cutaways they made to Beerus and Weez eating food half the time were kind of pointless. I can't really hold against the movie, though, because it's kind of their thing. Like, oh, Earth, it's so new, we're going to do all this stuff. And, like, the animation was really good. It was all fluid. I only really saw one animation error where Frieza got blasted by an attack in his golden form, and he turned white, and then gold right in the next frame. But, yeah, that's... The only other really gripe I have with the movie is the ending. Not, like, the actual final fight, but something that happens during the ending that's just deus ex machina. But... Where is this star on the battles? Oh my gosh, it's so explosive, and Vegeta and Goku have blue hair, and Vegeta so escaped being a red Super Saiyan God, and Goku was so powerful and got shot in the heart with a ray, and then sent to me, and it's like, oh my gosh, there's so much stuff going on. I actually took my Grandpa Joe to go see this. This is his first time ever seeing Dragon Ball, and he loved it. So overall, <laughs> I almost said the wrong title. Overall, Resurrection F had so many good scenes. Like, the whole theater was laughing at a lot of points in the movie, especially when Master Roshi's cane or staff, whatever it is, broke. And, like, there was so much clapping at the end. Like, everyone loved it. They're, the theater was super packed down here in Ocala. There were guys my age, there were younger kids, and there were, like, people that were probably in their 40s and 50s watching the movie. It was so entertaining, and there was a lot of humor. <laughs> and I'm actually out of breath. Oh, my God, I'm screaming too much. But uh, this movie is awesome. I mean, uh, there's not too many to complain about it. But overall, it's a lot of fun. And if you're new to Dragon Ball, this is actually something you could watch. With they establish the characters very well. And let me say, Chris Ayers' as Frieza really plays out like a ham to a point where I started chuckling. <laughs> I don't know. I guess the old Dragon Ball fan used to Linda Young in the role or something. But I don't know. It's it's great. I I don't know what else to say. I give Resurrection F a four star Dragon Ball out of four. If they make a third Dragon Ball movie, I'm going to the, uh, definitely the premiere, because little to my knowledge, before I end the video, I'm just going to say this. This was the last showing in Ocala. Yeah, I really cut it close, considering I didn't get out of bed till 10, and the movie started at 11. Anyway, that's all I really say about Resurrection F. See you guys soon. I'm going to get some water.